So hello everybody and welcome to this new series on how to read charts. In today's video we're going to talk about generally how would you go about reading charts, but in the future series we're actually going to talk about how to read specific charts, how to read a scatter plot, scatter plot chart, how to read a waterfall chart, how to read a sunburst chart. There are all kinds of visualization nowadays beyond the basics, the bar chart, the line chart, you know, and I think we all should spend some time learning them so we can interpret them when we see them. So today's video we're going to talk about in general how do we read a chart and I'm going to show you my method. Hopefully it will help you. So there is, a, I have also an easy way to remember how to read a chart. So I took these from the internet. I just went online, pick a chart and download it. And the way I read charts is I always start with the source here. Normally the source is at the bottom. It could be also that it's here in the legend up here, but in this case, more often than not, you'll find it as a footnote on the chart. So first of all, the source. The source is who is telling you the information about the chart. So depending on who is giving you the information, there might be some bias injected into the chart. So for example, newspapers. You can see a lot of times that the same news gets reported differently depending on which newspaper is telling you the story. The reason for that, because they want to put emphasis in something specific that will tell their particular story better. So you have to always be mindful about who is publishing the chart that you're seeing and get some inf background inf information about it. Okay, so I start at the bottom because normally the source is there and then I will go up here. So this is my second stop, which is the title. So there you have it. The title and sometimes there is a subnote giving you some more information or maybe it is even in here. Okay, so the title is the thing that will frame the story. What is the chart about? And charts should have titles and should have titles that it tell you in a few words what the chart is about. In this case, it says social networking site used by age group 2005 to 2012. So it's telling you a few things. When the data was collected, 2005, 2012, and what is it about? So they divided the population. They don't say where. I'm guessing this is the US because it's pure research, but they are dividing the population in age groups and they are measuring site social network use for those age groups, right? Once I know that, I move down to the axis, to the Y and to the X axis. So this would be three and four. If there are more axes, I will take all the axes, right? And then there should be a legend here. As you can see, the legend is missing, but it is in here. So they decided to put it as a soup note. It says percentage of internet users in each age group who use social networking sites. So I, for me, that should have been in here, but that's fine. So this is percentage of users, basically. And then we have here time, timeline, month and year. And it is from 2005 to 2012. Great. Then I go up and I check the legend and check how the groups were divided. In this case, we have all the internet users, 18 to 29, 30 to 49, 50, 64, plus 65. Awesome. And only then I go in there and check the chart, the actual visualization. Okay. Because then I know, I know that this is presented chooses. I know that this is a timeline. I know the buckets that they have. I know the period of time. I know who did it. I have all this background information, then I can go and in deep into, you know, the actual um, graph and see that there is an exponential growth of social network inside basically, you know, especially for younger people, but it is quite big also for the other age groups. So 
my reading of the chart goes like that. Okay? So you go down and then you go up and then you go through the axis and then the legend and then you actually get to the to the core of the story, so the actual numbers. So this is the way I normally read charts. Do you have a method? Let us know on the comment box. So now that we actually read the chart together, what are your findings on the chart? I would love to know, you know, pause the video, look at the chart and let me know what you see down below. Okay, and we will talk about it in the next video. Until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.